What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Dude and I am bringing you a tutorial on how to increase frames per second in Minecraft. Now, if you follow me on YouTube, you know that I always complained about my computer. I had a laptop. It was a 3 gig RAM laptop with a terrible video card, a terrible hard drive, and to top it off, it was three years old. We all know that computer parts tend to get better as the years go on, so mine was a little out of date. So I did a lot of research because I really wanted to record. I really wanted to bring Minecraft to life on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people do it, so I wanted to do it myself. The problem was my frames were terrible when I would click to record. So what I'm going to do in this episode, well, I'm sorry, tutorial, <laughs> is I'm going to go through a couple things that I did to allow Minecraft to run a little bit smoother so that I could record. This will also work if you're not necessarily wanting to record, but you just want Minecraft, hmm, excuse me, Minecraft to run better. So let's get right into it. You can see now that my background is a little bit different than what yours might be. You need to change it. This is going to help out a lot. I know you're thinking that, huh, how much can that actually help? You'd be surprised. So what you need to do, go into control panel. From control panel, you're going to go to appearance and personalization. Let's go ahead and click on personalization. From here, change it to Windows Classic. This is the best for getting the best performance out of your frames per second. Because believe it or not, the desktop takes up some of that crap that Minecraft needs to run. <laughs> All right, so let's go back after you change that. What you want to do now, go back again, go to system and security. From system and security, we're going to go to system. You can see that I've upgraded my stuff a little bit. Make sure your system type reads 64-bit operating system. Now, if it doesn't, what you can do is go to Java's website and update to the 64-bit. You need to do that. That is a big thing. Make sure that you're running 64-bit Java. If you're running 32, no good. <laughs> so do that. We're going to go ahead and click on Advanced System Settings. From here, we're going to go and click on... We're not going to do anything up here. Don't worry about that. Stay on the Advanced tab. Go to Performance and click Settings. From here, we want to adjust for best performance and hit Apply. I'm not going to do that, but you guys need to. Do that. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and go back again. We're going to click on our power options. Quick note, if you're running on a laptop and you plan on recording, make sure that you unplug your laptop. What tends to happen in some cases is when you're recording, your video playback is going to have like a buzzing noise. And that buzzing noise is associated with your battery power cord being plugged into your laptop. So make sure you unplug it when you record. We want to go ahead and click on high performance. It favors performance, but may use more energy. I'm going to keep mine where it is, but you should change it to high performance. All right. So we've got that part of it done. Another thing you want to look at is you want to make sure, and I know this is going to sound funny, but if you don't have a lot of room on your computer, make sure, make sure if you're running an antivirus program, I know it's scary. <laughs> Make sure you turn off a lot of the stuff because what happens is, is that when you're running the antivirus stuff, it tends to run its scans. When it starts to run a scan, it can really bog down your system. Sometimes it'll run a scan and you won't even know it. You'll be like, why are my frames so terrible? And then crazy things start happening. <laughs> so make sure that you turn it off if you're going to record. All right, that's my suggestion. You don't have to do that, but it's a suggestion. Okay, so I use Fraps to record. Uh, if you guys need information on what settings to run Fraps at for the best um, frames per second when you hit that uh, F9 button, just send me a message or comment and I'll, I'll try to get back to you and help you out as much as I can. All right, so that pretty much does it. Actually, let me go back into one more thing. Depending on what you're using to run Minecraft. Now, if you're using, sorry about that. If you're using, um, 
Magic Launcher. That's what I wanted to say. If you're using Magic Launcher, Magic Launcher has this cool thing that you can do. Click Setup. Go to Advanced. This little part right here where it says Memory. You want to allocate, depending on how Minecraft runs, this is where you're going to have to you know, mess around with it a little bit. You want to allocate more memory to Minecraft. If it's not getting enough memory, it's not going to run right. You're not going to get the max amount of frames that you could get. So make sure that you're fiddling with this a little bit and, and getting it to work to where you have the best frames for, you know, the memory that you need. All right. That's one way of doing it. Now, if you're running regular Minecraft, let me show you. This is what you want to do. This is the Java control panel. You saw down here, all I did was type in Java. Configure Java. From here, we want to click on the Java tab. View. Runtime parameters. You need to change this. You need to put something like this in, depending on, so that's two gigs right there. 2048 is two gigs. So if you want to run one gig, it'd be 1024. You put 1024 in place of 2048. Need to have that in there. That'll help too. Well, I should say, sometimes it'll help, sometimes it won't. It just depends. These are just things you're gonna have to mess with. Another thing too, if you're running DirectX 11, do yourself a favor and try downloading DirectX 9. Downgrade. I know it sounds crazy. Give it a shot, see what happens. Uh, just Google DirectX 9 download or something and it'll pop up and try that if you still are having issues after you've done all this stuff. So what we want to do, we want to go to Minecraft, all right? So let's load up Minecraft. Now with um, 1.6.4, they've done a thing, I think they've done a thing anyway, where... Um, you can actually use the Optifine settings. So, you can see the world's loading up here. Now, you wanna make sure that you're using Optifine. Optifine is fantastic. Optifine is gonna be your best friend when it comes to helping your frames. So we wanna to go to video settings, all right? From here, depending on what you, I was, when I recorded, I always ran it at normal max FPS, I turn my bobbing off. That helps, all right? I turn that off. Um, you wanna keep your graphics? You can change your graphics. Actually, one second. Let's get out of here, because that's not giving us. I thought that, um, I think I might've changed it. Oh, let's see if this works. Okay. I'll show you guys in here. I'm sorry about that. Here we go. All right. Play selected world. This will be Optifine. I thought I was in the right one. I was in the wrong one. My apologies. Okay. So now we're going to go into options. We're going to go into video settings. All right. Here we go. This is Optifine. <laughs> I knew something didn't look right. So from here, go with the setting. These will pop up. Go with what they say. No fog. Fastest. Turn it off. Turn off fog animations you can do decreased usually pretty good um, minimal is fine too heck you can even turn them all off right here fiddle with that a little bit that'll definitely increase your frames uh, when you go to performance turn smooth world on smooth FPS on you're gonna have to mess with lazy chunk loading uh, it's, I noticed that sometimes it would help see it says that when it's on it's smoother so you gotta have to mess with that one. So I, I don't really, I can't really give you too much info on that because I had to mess with it myself. Uh, you wanna change your render distance to like I was saying normal. And now this is for recording. If you don't wanna record, man, put it down to short or tiny even, but short would be better. See how my frames just go skyrocket. But you wanna, yeah, you wanna keep it bare minimum. For the best quality looking video though, if you're recording, you wanna to try to keep fancy on, you wanna to try to keep your smooth lighting on if you can. If not, change smooth lighting to minimum or even turn it off. These are 
kind of things that you're going to have to go in there and mess with, though. Another thing that helps... Autosave. Change your autosave. Change it to 30 minutes. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. That'll help as well. Details. From here, turn your clouds off. Trees, default, leave it at default. Actually, put it at fast, fast, and it'll tell you right here. See, fast, lower quality, faster. Beauteous. And you can do it for your grass and stuff like that. So make sure you're doing that as well. I'm going to leave it at default. I have it at fancy. I can't remember now. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so... These are just some things that you can you can kind of mess with. Now, ch chunk loading, I always ran with smooth. You can do multi-core, but I always found that multi-core like dropped my frames pretty good. So try using smooth, because I think that'll help you guys out if you try using that. Uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Those are the things that I did to help my recording. The only other thing that I can think of is I could help you by going into, we can go into fraps real quick and I'll show you what I use for fraps. So for fraps, I think I have an older version of fraps though. So. Benchmark, put FPS, This is these are my settings. This is the same settings I had when I did it. I run at 60. You can, you can mess with this a little bit. Lock the frame rate while recording. Um, I run F4. With mine, make sure that uh, this you want to run it half size too. Do not run Minecraft in full full screen or whatever. Don't do it, especially if you have a hard time with frames. Just don't. It's not worth it. Another thing. Now things are starting to flood back. Make sure that you close all your programs out. Okay. Make sure you don't have anything else running. Make sure you don't have the Internet Explorer stuff running. Make sure you don't have Skype running. Skype's a killer for frames. One more thing. <laughs> Go into Task Manager. Click on Minecraft. Go to go to process. Okay. From here, it's going to go to java.exe. Set the priority to high. When you do that, that is the program that your computer is going to push all of its processing to. So when you do that, your frames are going to just skyrocket. So that is the other big thing too. Um, that's all I have for you guys though. That's it. Those are the things that I did to help me record Minecraft. And you can watch some of my older videos and you can watch some of my newer videos. Nothing beats just getting a new computer. Trust me. But if you can't afford one or you don't have the resources to, to upgrade your computer, those are some things that you can do to help increase your frames per second. And trust me, it helps. It really does. So try those things. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I see it, and hopefully I can I can help you out. Um, I'll put the links for Opti, OptiFine, uh, Magic Launcher, down in the description. Um, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you hit the like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.